Hello, my name is Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then click the subscribe button so you don't miss any free content. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can recycle your old broken lenses into something unique for your home, which I call the lens pot. I created this out of my old Tamron lenses that just don't work. The, um, the aperture has uh, seized upon them and doesn't work no more. So I've thrown them away. We'll make something unique out of them. So I'll call it the lens pot. And I have a cactus in here at the moment. For this we have to rip out the internals out of the lens, so be careful because you will be dealing with glass. So to start with, we need to rip the internals out of this thing. So let's get the end cap off. And we'll also get... Okay, so the first thing we've got to start with is this front element here. We shall resort to the good old scissors. Okay, that's in there. There we go. Okay, that's loose. So now I've done that, that's one of the hardest parts that I had to figure out because I didn't have a tool to do it, but good old uh, scissors do it. So your lens is going to be different to mine, so you just have to figure this out. What's important is that we don't break anything as we get it out because some of the plastic parts will need to be put back in to reassemble the outer part of the lens which is why I'm being careful once we've got our lens emptied and it's together we can throw all the rest of the parts away no longer need that ribbon cable so we've cut that so we want to keep it all neat and tidy because on the other one I did the um, the zoom part comes away and you need those bits of plastic to assemble it again. So we want to keep that as much as possible. The internet just cringed. <laughs> I've got bits of it all over me. Okay, don't want to break that there because that's the uh, the switch just here if I undo that yeah I think the switch might come off yeah see we want to keep that part otherwise you're going to have the switch missing let's face it we want to want to make sure it looks authentic let's get the front lens element out now, I can't stress enough that you've got to do this on a broken lens don't take your L series lens that can be fixed and create a lens pot out of it and then come moaning to me because that ain't gonna happen. These are, I think they're around 70 pound brand new, these lenses, they're really cheap and nasty. And if anyone has got one of these Tamron lenses in their kit, then my advice would be dump it as soon as you can. Get yourself a, a decent zoom lens. There we go, there's the, uh, the front element to the Tamron lens. You see that piece, we'll need to keep that, so I'm going to place it there and I'll put the three screws that go with it inside so we don't get them mixed up. Okay, there's that one main part. So obviously this little bit we don't want. Let's just put that off. Put that on the rubbish pile. So now we've got to get this part out. That was fairly easy, wasn't it? <laughs> it just came straight out. So now we've done that, we need to reassemble this part. So let's get this back together. It will go back together. There we go. Well, that's going to be on top, so hopefully gravel tea will let that sink down. Now we need to put this one back on. The lens should still fit on. Like that. So that's good. So we need this part on here so we can attach our base cap, which will have the holes in to allow drainage. 
I'm taking this off because I don't want it to rust inside the uh, in, inside the pot. I just want to get the metal bits off. Oh, there you go. <laughs> if indeed, push it. Let's get our switch that back in there as well. Okay, our switch is back in now. So you can see there, our switch is back in. And now we can place this back in. Okay, so that is back together now. You can see there, we can see all the way through, but we have no internals at all. So the next thing we want to do is create some drainage holes. So I'm going to do that now. Be very careful when you do this. Typical. Now the drain holes have been dirt done. We can place that back onto the bottom. Got some little stones here. We're going to place those into the bottom. There we go. So we have our drilled end cap on. We put stones in there now. Next thing we need is some um, dirt for our cactus. So I have a cacti and succulent potting mix here. So I'm going to put that in now. This is where it gets messy. So with that done, we just need to get the cactus out now. And you want to be very careful with this. They are very prickly, so be careful. Okay, I should have gloves for this really. Get in there, there we go. Now I've just got to fill up the sides. I want to try and get as centred as possible because if I don't, my OCD is going to kick in. So, right, so I'm just going to move that off to the side. So now we can put this back on. Now, as your cactus grows bigger, we can put our lens cap on like that so that it comes out like that. But for now, I've just kept it like that for now. So if you've got a so if you have got a bigger cactus, you can put the lens hood going up. Um, but if you're going to do that, you need to have some sort of small stone on the top of the uh, sole just to make it look pretty. So there we go. We have two cactuses in our lens pots. Again, as the cactus grows, I can change the lens hood. When it gets much bigger, like about this big, then we'll have to replant it into a 400mm L-series lens. So if you want to see that, you'll have to subscribe and wait a couple of years and you'll see me do that to an L-series lens. In case you haven't got an old lens and you want to do this and you don't want to spend a fortune, what you can do is pop onto Amazon and get one of these. This is a lens mug and what you can do is you can do exactly the same thing. Just bear in mind you might need to drill some holes in the bottom for drainage. But that's a cheaper alternative to creating your own lens pot and your lens plant. Last thing we need to do is just get some water. This Tamron lens is much more useful as a lens pot. I think you'll agree it performs better as a pot than a lens. So that is my lens pot and that's how easy it is to, uh, to do it. Now we've got to clean up the mess. So, you know, I'm a man. I don't do that. So I'll just call the wife in. She can uh, she clear this up for me. Mm. Sure, that's for me. Don't do this on a lens that works or could be fixed. These cost about seventy pounds, so it's cheaper just to buy a new lens than it was to actually get these fixed. So instead of throwing them away, I thought I could turn them into artwork, something for the office. So these are going to go behind me now, next to the computer. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name is Stuart Wood, and again, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, I've finished the video. I can clean this up for me. If you